New restrictions coming into take effect for travelers on January the 7th. Anyone entering Canada by air will be required to show proof of a negative COVID test. Health officials across the country are urging people to stay home, but many still traveling overseas for the holidays. Our Sarah Levitt is at Toronto's Pearson International Airport and joins us now. Sarah, thanks so much for taking the time. We understand you've been talking to people out there who are starting their vacations, and that means presumably, depending on when they come back, they could be impacted by the new rules when they return. What kind of reaction are you hearing? Well, John, mixed feelings here. And as you said, public health, uh, the federal government, since March, recommending that non-essential travel uh, be curbed, essentially discouraging it from happening. And yet, uh, just an hour ago, this terminal was quite busy. We had people heading out uh, to all inclusives in Cuba and the Dominican Republic. Uh, those are seven days. And in seven days' time, January 7th, that's when this rule comes into effect. The federal government will require all incoming travel to, the, to Canada uh, that the travelers secure a negative uh, COVID-19 test at least 72 hours before their flight. Uh, these travelers here today I had a bit of a mixed feelings. Some of them, in fact, didn't even know that this was the case. It was me telling them about it uh, so that was worrisome worrisome for them but let's hear from a few uh, of the people i spoke to honestly i think it's a it's a good idea because we don't want it to spread more right so we don't know what's going on it's mutating right so we just want to be safe so yeah i think it is a good idea for us to be tested i think that they should have consulted with airlines before because airlines kind of know who goes in and out of the country they control the flow so i think it was inappropriate that they did it so uh last minute but i think this is a great a great idea it should have been done a long time ago it's just i don't know why they didn't enact it everybody should be tested before they come into the country i believe all right, but under these regulations, the onus is really on the traveler to get that negative test before they get on that flight. And so it begs the question, depending on where you are in the world, what if they can't? So, John, there's two options, uh, one that uh, travelers will be more happy with. The, the first being that uh, the federal government has said, if you can prove that uh, getting tests where you were or where you are is uh, not possible, maybe there's not sources that you can get that test, you have to show the documentation proving that in fact that's the case, and then you can return to Canada. The, the caveat with that is that uh, instead of when you return doing your mandatory 14-day quarantine at your home, you'll have to do it at a federally approved facility. The bad news is if you are unable to show the proof that you couldn't secure a test then uh, it means rescheduling until you either show the proof or you test negative for COVID-19. John? Thanks for this Sarah. CBC's Sarah Levitt at Pearson International Airport.